This is a problem from NCRT book. It says in a Young's double slit experiment, slits are separated by 0.5 millimeters, and the screen is placed 150 centimeters away. A beam of light consisting of two wavelengths, 650 nanometers and 520 nanometer, is used to obtain interference fringes on the screen. The least distance from the common central maxima to the point where the bright fringes due to both the wavelength coincide is. So here we can see fringe patterns caused due to 650 nanometer and here we can see fringe patterns caused due to 520 nanometer. So we can observe that these fringes are slightly wider whereas these fringes are slightly compressed. This happens because width is given as lambda d upon d. So fringe width is directly proportional to lambda. So that is why if the lambda is less the fringe width will be less and if lambda is more fringe width will be more. Now we also know that position of maximus are given by the formula n lambda d by d. The question says where again after central maximum will the bright fringes coincide. So we can write that position of the bright fringe for the first will be equal to the position for the bright fringe for the second. So I can write n1 lambda 1 d upon d is equal to n2 lambda 2 d upon d. So this further can be written as n1 lambda 1 is equal to n2 lambda 2 which can be further simplified as n1 by n2 is equal to lambda 2 upon lambda 1. In this case n1 by n2 is equal to 520 divided by 650 which is equal to 4 upon 5. Now what does this imply? This implies that the fourth bright fringe for 650 nanometer will coincide with fifth bright fringe for 520 nanometer. So the least distance can be calculated by using either of the two expressions n1 lambda 1 d upon d or n2 lambda to d upon d but the value of n1 has to be used as 4 because if this will happen for the first time if you want to calculate for second time then you have to take it as 8 and n2 as 10 so the least distance is calculated as 4 into 650 into 10 raised to the power minus 9 into 1.5 whole divided by 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 which gives us a solution as 7.8 ml.